Hello, this video is going to show you how to create an analysis template for your Incel Western assay plate and how you can use the volume tools in ImageLab software to get volume intensity and to normalize based on controls. As you can see here, I have a 96 well plate that I have multiplexed in three different channels. First, we're going to crop our image so that we only see the plate or the wells of interest. For some of you, you may not be doing a full plate, so you would only want to crop around the wells that you're interested in analyzing. So while my multi-channel image is selected around this yellow border, I'm going to go to the analysis toolbox and hit image tools. From image tools, I'm going to hit crop. Now, as you can see, there's this red box that's been superimposed over this image. I'm going to click and drag the edges of the box until it only encompasses the wells of interest. For me, it's the full plate. So here, I'm just going to click that. Move this edge over slightly, this up a little. All right. And once, you're, once you like um, where this red box encapsulates, you're going to right click on it and hit crop to crop the image. Now for some of you, you might have imaged your plates slightly crooked, so now some of your columns or rows are not straight. If you want to straighten that out, you can go to the rotate function custom over here in this menu custom until you get this arrow and from here you can move this arrow right left to now realign your columns and rows so let's say I just want to slightly skew mine slightly to the right I would move the arrow and then right click and hit rotate and as you can see my image the image slightly rotated so now once you're happy with your image that you've cropped and rotated you'll go back out into your analysis toolbox and go to volume tools. Select volume tools. So right now, as you can see, because I'm selecting the multi-channel image, all of the boxes here are grayed out. So in order to use the round volume tool, which is what we're going to use, you're going to have to choose one of these single channels here. I suggest choosing a channel where you see all your wells that you want to analyze. For me, that would be channel three. So I'll click on channel three until now it's highlighted in this yellow box here. I'll go to the round volume tool, select that, and then hover over the first well of interest you want to analyze. Let's assume it's this top one right here for me. I'm gonna to hover towards the middle of this well. I'm going to left click, and then slowly, as I hold down the left click button on the mouse, slowly drag until you see this red circle um, enlarge. And I'm gonna go until I think it's about the size of the well. Once I like it, I'm going to let go. And now you have U1, so unknown one. So now to reposition this circle, you can either click and hold with your mouse and drag it around, up, down, left, right, wherever you would like it. Or you can use the up, down, left, and right keys on your keyboard. So let's say I start moving it right, go up or down or left to move this. All right, so once you're happy, uh, where this is located, you can now either hover over the next well and do the exact same thing that you did up here, or what you can do is while this is red, you can hit Control C on your keyboard and then Control V. So you're copying and pasting um, what the circle up here, and you can click and now drag this new copy uh, well circle to your next well. And again, you can move it around using your keyboard, and you would do this kind of over and over for the rest of the wells of interest. Or alternatively, what you could do is you could use a pre-made plate template. Let's say you had done a plate, a similar numbered plate previously. Um, you could use a pre-made plate template, um, hover over an area where there is none of these wells that you're not touching one of these, and just kind of click and drag until you can highlight the whole template. You would control C to copy, go into the new file that you want to analyze and control V and paste that uh, template over. You could also go to um, biorad.com. Our install Western page has downloadable templates that you can use, uh, ranging from six well all the way to 96 well plates. All right, so now that you've done this, um, you would do this for the rest of your plate until you get something like this. As you can see, I did the full 96 well plate here. So once you have this, you can start um, assigning your background wells um, to these unknowns. And usually these background wells are 
wells that are blank. So blank wells are wells that you do not stain with 